Welcome to episode number 10 of Sound of the Show 21 postseason series. And today, I'm going to play game 2 of the World Series between the Giants and the White Sox. Game 1. Well, it was just crazy, especially the, ninth, the bomb of the ninth inning. It was just insane. If you want to watch it, it'll be right up here in the top right hand corner. That's what I always do uh, for like in a series. I put the a, a video in the top, top right hand corner, in the eye in the sky, uh, which the, that video is the last episode of the, that series. And in this stage, that was the last video on this channel because I was, I've been busy with doing my chores. I'm mowing the grass, driving because I have my permit now. Um, other stuff, like reading my book, playing my guitar. So, yeah, I worked before playing. I've done all that stuff. The only thing I have to do is read my book maybe later. I might do that right now. I probably will, but I already did my guitar. I just mowed the lawn. I just I did it already. I did that, and it's 12 or uh, 2.40. Um, so, yeah, it was just insane. And I know if you did watch that video, how you strength you missed that ball, led to the triple by Montreal. I didn't try to purposely miss it. I thought it was on a bounce right through the Instead, Instead, it bounced right past him, bounced to his left, but really didn't right at him with a view. It won't bounce to the right, bounced to Estremski's left, though. And that, but, and it was a triple. Even if that was a single, the White Sox probably going to win that game anyways. Because if you do the math of, like, a single, but there was three singles after that, I think, because then there was a, because there was, no, there was one, so, yeah, there was three singles after that. They're probably going to win that game because that would have put runners in the corners, two outs, the first single. Second single would have scored a run. The mid one. Well, not only then, because that was a single, runners in the corners, two outs. But then there was, say, three singles after the triple. So then that would have been run one run game. Uh, then it probably would have been tied. Yeah, they're probably going to win that game. If, even if that triple did not happen. It wasn't going to be a base hit. It wasn't like I missed that up. It was, should have just been a single, though. But they're probably going to win that game. But you never know. But you can't dwell on it. And it, I, why would I lie about that? I'm not trying to go for the White Sox. I vote controls. I know that's, that's really fishy. But, trust me on this one. I did not try to purposely run by the ball. I thought it was on, like I said, the right to the stream sheet. Instead, it went to the right. Now uh, the stream sheet left. So, um... It's Alex Wood versus Dylan Cease for Game 2 in Chicago, or at Darren C. Rayfield in the south side of Chicago, who the Twins play uh, the White Sox at Darren C. Rayfield in the south side of Chicago tomorrow. Uh, this bit, well, tomorrow, um, Sunday, July 19th, assuming that this video goes up Sunday, July 18th. I think. Should. I'm not saying it will, but it should. You would think. The real life twins are on their final out and into tighters down seven nothing. And the Everson of course two outs top nine down seven nothing. At least trying to avoid the shutout, maybe. They probably they'll probably they probably won't uh, I bet they don't have to shut out. So the White Sox lead the series, uh, one in and nine. Like I said, it's Alex Wood for the Giants, Dylan Seas for the White Sox. Game two, Ed Darren Seer at field, best of seven series. As uh, game two is on uh, Wednesday, October twenty seventh, two thousand twenty one, at seven oh five PM Central Time. Let's get into the game right now. Play full game. White Sox the dog controller and the uh, Giants are the blue controller. Uh, that's Tim Anderson for the White Sox and I believe Sav Devano Savano for the Giants. Home uniforms for the White Sox, running uniforms for the Giants. I think I wore alternate. I mean, it was. I know. I wore. Yeah, I wore alternate two vert in game one, but it would be home and uh, road. Right? I said. Yeah, home and road. I just made sure I got that right. Uh, Darren C. Ray Field uh, holds 40,615, opened in 1991. Uh, President Shemel broadcast, quick count, on cloud cover. It was partly cloudy, but it's the World Series. Let's change it to the other side. So, yeah, I could pitch Lance Lynn, who's 2 0 with a no ERA, but Cease is 1 0 with a 1.23 ERA. And also, Giolito is also ready, and Ron, no, Ron, wonder why all of them are ready is because I observed about they didn't play a damn play in a week. Same thing for the Giants. They didn't play it in like five days. But yeah, it'll be a lefty versus righty, 81 versus 70. Woods the lefty, Alex Woods the lefty, and an 81 overall, and Cease is a righty, a 70 overall. Uh, so, yeah, the DH that ends righties will be Darren Ruff for the 
Giants, and then it's always your mom Mercedes for the White Sox. When there's no DH, obviously for the White for the Giants, obviously there used to no DH, but there's a DH in there originally part for the White Sox. Uh, Mercedes was turned out of the lineup, and I think then, then everyone after that, like, Randall, Vaughn, and uh, Garcia uh, would just move up a stop, move up a, a spot. So Randall seven to six, Vaughn eight to seven, Garcia nine to eight, but then the pitcher spot would be number nine. So yeah, Montreal obviously he's, he's three to three at bats, no runs, three RBIs, O ninety one bat average. Obviously, it's not that RBI, that triple, and that RBI triple. He should have shot a single, not an RBI triple. Or, he should have at least shot an RBI single or a single. Because Anderson might have scored and sent a base there. On that little looper, he probably would have, even if it didn't hit by Yastrzemski. It might have not, but either way, that should have been a single, or at very best, an RBI single, not an RBI triple. But, yeah. Let's get into day two on the play points first game, and Matt Vester did not turn up. And Matt Vester did not turn down at all. Here we go. Remember the Giants were the second at an NL uh, second NL wild card team. Now they're in the World Series, four wins away from winning it all. We are here at Guaranteed Right Field in Chicago, Illinois, for Game 2 of the 2021 World Series between the San Francisco Giants and the Chicago White Sox. Hi, I'm Benny, Vinny, Vinny, Janice, 342, and welcome to the World Series here, or welcome to the World Series here on the show. It's Game 2 of the World Series, best of 7 series. White Sox lead that series, or this best of 7 series, one game in that, uh, and the White Sox lead this best of 7 series, one game in that, after shocking the Giants in Game 1 as, as the White Sox came back to win six, or got three runs in the bottom of the ninth in Game 1. The walk off the Giants sits five, and all three runs are two outs. First two guys got out, and then everyone after that down on base, and eventually won the game six five, as, as they got three runs in the bottom of the ninth. Game 2 of the World Series on the show comes their way next. Dylan Cease, uh, one star here in the postseason. One star here in the postseason. Not the win. 1.23 ERA. Pitched seven and third innings. Sits hit 0.82 WHIP. No wants one strike down. Not sure. And that was one of the dames in the lead championship series, I believe, on the ALCS. Uh, here's Mike Strempsey. He's batting 350 in the postseason. Forcing basketball slider, changeup, and a knuckle curve for Cease. And we're on your way from Guaranteed Right Field. Two one count to the batter Strempsey. Ground ball, don't try to know it shift he does, but it's a foul ball. Fifty three degrees here at game time, not bad. Um, not bad for Chicago because you expect maybe like I think game one was forty four degrees if I remember right. Um the right now is thirty eight uh, thirty nine thousand eight hundred and forty one ninety eight percent ninety eight percent ninety eight percent capacity, which will probably go up to a hundred and first uh, by the third end. Uh, near Elevation is 595 feet, October 27th, 2021, 50, 53 degrees clear, wind 4 miles per hour, going out to right field, 4.9 to be as that, so you could round up to 5, but wind 4 miles, I'm just going to, I just said to round up, but wind, just say 4 miles per hour, is usually what I do, although it's 4.9, wind 4 miles per hour, going out to right field, well, let's, uh, let's just say 5 miles per hour, let's round up, wind 5, well, Wind 4.9 miles per hour, let's just say the point. Wind 4.9 miles per hour, blowing out the right field. And and there, right there, is 4 miles per hour. Let's just say, wind, blowing, wind 4 miles per hour, blowing out the right field. So maybe if you didn't want it up in the air, it might carry out of here. But also, it's not warm, so the ball's not really flying as much. A little fly ball to center, as they had to shift down to the right and infield and outfield. Garcia's there, one down and lay off the ball game. And here is the starting lineup for the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Matt Ustremski, Buster Posey, Brandon Crawford, Evelyn Doria, Brandon Bell, Alan Sidgerson, Darren Ruff, the DH, because we are at American Tony Park, Devano Savano, and Mike Tonkman. One home run in the postseason for the Giants, and now it's hit by Brandon Crawford in Game 3 or Game 4 of the NLDS. I'm not sure. I forgot which one it was. I know it's one of those because I remember it's hit with the straightaway center field in San Francisco. So it was Game 3 or 4 of the NLDS against the Los Angeles Dodgers. 
for the, you know, little jam shot. So, yeah, it was hit. That home run by Crawford, the only one for the Giants in the postseason so far, was, uh, um, was hit in game three or four of the NLDS against Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah, it was hit in game three or four of, it was hit, it was hit by this man, Brandon Crawford, in um, game three or four of the NLDS against Los Angeles Dodgers, which they won that series uh, three games to two. He ran 4-15, one on count, a little jam shot, uh, and steal it by C. throw to Abreu in and over. One, two, three to the Giants, White Sox to the bat, no score in game two. Alex Wood, two starts here in the postseason. Uh, he has a one and one record, 2.70 ERA, 13 and, thir 13 and a third innings pitched, 15 innings, 1.20 whip, one watt, no strikeouts. Uh, two seam fastball, not go curve, change up, and a four seam fastball for Alex Wood, former Dodger. Here's Anderson, ground ball with that double, with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, eventually scores, throw to first by Crawford, it's a little high, but Belt, Belt keeps his uh, foot on the bad one down here in the first. And here is the starting lineup for the Chitada White Sox. Tim Anderson, Nick Montreal, Juan, Juan Montada, Jose Abreu, Adam Ethan, your mom, Mercedes, Yasmin Grindall, Andrew Vaughn, and Louis Garcia. And they're saying last season, Marcedes is uh, no average and no OPS. That's true. He went 0 for 1 last year. He only won at Ban 2020. Here's Nick Montreal, who had that triple, uh, made it a one run game in the bottom of the ninth, and game one and eventually scored, tied it at 5, and then the White Sox after that hit three straight singles. Oh no, uh, and then after that, he t came around, hit the triple, made it 5 4, then the White Sox, yeah, that three straight triples, or th three straight uh, singles to win the game. And here is Juan Montada, who had that one of those, I believe, tied the game, tied game one at five in the ninth, and then ground ball at the middle base hit from Juan Montada, and then continues for, I believe, Jose Abreu. And here's Jose Abreu, he's got a cleanup man, 3 one hitters count too. And that is in there, the changeup. It's kind of up there, but is it, it is in there, and now the runner at first will be in motion. If you win the dap or down the line, it might store a rally towels. Wait a minute, a little jam shot. Broken bat. The runner was off on the pitch, and he owned it to third easily. As it was a broken bat, jam shot from a brain. It was a ran AL a jam shot uh, by the ran AL MVP Jose Abreu. Here's Adam Eaton, who, well, that pinch ran earlier in game one, so Billy Hamilton, a pinch ran for him, was a he game one hero. At walked off the game. It was in the situation where it was in the corner, two outs, one, two count to Adam Eaton. Line drive! One, two, down! And, whoa, it's off the diamond, Talkman! And the run will score! Throw to third safe, and the batter hits in the center base, as he almost won the diamond catch! The team, the game scoreless, but could not. It's an RBI double for Adam Eaton and the White Sox. And Dame 2 break the ice. As the White Sox break the ice in Dame 2, as they strike first in Dame 2, RBI double for Adam Eaton. I assume they'll call that a double. Here's Mercedes. With, um, it's an RBI, it's an RBI double. And they're saying double as it deflected off the center fielder, Talkman. Former Yankees. On the Yankees, I think. Uh, last year was 2 the 19, I think. I don't think he was on the team last year, but that was close. Oh, hit his glove. Inches away from keeping a uh, scoreless game, but instead it hits off his glove. It's an RBI double, and here's Mercedes. Uh, here's Mercedes' ground ball, a little jam shot. Picked up by Bell. He sits on the bat himself, and the end is over. Once that's due to one thing, it's RBI double by Adam Ethan, but the... Uh, yeah, like I said, the White Sox hit one, but they leave two in storm position. And the one, the score is now the White Sox one, and the Giants zero. The White Sox lead in the Tata 2 event series lead as the series will shift to San Francisco for Dane 3, Dane 4, and Dane 5, assuming that there's a Dane, assuming that there's a Dane 5. There's definitely, definitely going to be a Dane 3 and 4, but there might not be a Dane 5. And then the Giants lead in the split, uh, Tata series at one day apiece. Um, as like I said, the series shifts to San Francisco. Little jam shot, will it just, will it get down? And it will! It is by the diamond, Ethan! And all the way to the wall by the 335 side. This is gonna be a triple. RBI triple. Or pardon me, an, a leadoff triple. 
by uh, Evan Longoria, I believe. Yeah, that that was Evan Longoria. So it's a leadoff triple, not an RBI triple. And the that penalty, the dive in Ethan. And here's Bell with the tie run 90 feet away, and it's a full town to Brandon Bell. Who had that two-run signal on the top of the first last night. Last night in this game, obviously. Not in real life. But, I mean, even if... Unless you... Even if I went... It might not have been a trip if I went farther back, but maybe... But if I, like, try to ram back and try to cut off the angle, that might not work. Infield's bad for Brad Bell. Ground ball fair! Bell delivers and the game's tied! So a triple by Londoria, then an RBI signal for Brandon, or a, a triple for Londoria, then an RBI signal for Bell, and just like that, game two is tied at one. So they respond right away. Here's Dickerson. Fly or line drive towards the ball boy and hit the wall right next to him. Foul ball. One, two down, the Dickerson. Ground ball is to be two. Matata cuts it up. 71. First double play, two down. And now Darren Ruff, who's been at 333 in the postseason. Not sure. I probably had a pinch hit appearance. He's probably one for three. One, two down. Ground ball, Montreal. In and over. But the uh, Giants did tie the name at one. There's this RBI signal by Brandon Belt. Middle of two, the scores. Now the Giants won, and the White Sox won. You're watching game two of the World Series here in the show. So White Sox don't win the first. In the bottom of the first, Giants don't win in the top of the second. Here's John's man and Randall switching in a catcher. Ground ball to Savano. Throw to first, and there's one down. And here's Andrew Vaughn. Now, one on town to Andrew Vaughn, Louis Darcy on deck, then the top of the order, and then in and continues past that. Line drive, base hit! And it went all the way to the wall, picked up by Ustremski, and Vaughn was 45 speeds in the center base with a one out double. Vaughn! Five, uh, five RBIs for Darcy, a time for second in the, for the White Sox. Had a two-run single in the seventh inning. They made it five to three in game one. Now he's a chance to give the White Sox lead. The, give the White Sox the lead bat. Foul ball is still one and two. Well, these pitchers have enough for curve, by the way. At the ground ball to the right side, runner will advance. The three on the ground ball, runner at third, two outs. As ball moves over to third base, runner at third, two outs for Tim Anderson, the leadoff man. And grounded out to lead off the first inning, trying to base it the outfield. Or a base hit would give the White Sox the lead bat line drive right through you, Stremsty, in and over. As the White Sox trying to run at third base. And the two, the score is still 1-1. One one. Savano. Savano, who the heck is last? Is it... Uh, Talkman. It's uh, Savano, Talkman, and the top of the order, and you, Stremsty. And 2-11, Savano is one on down. And it's a fly ball, shallow right field, bad jump by Ethan, but he still makes the knee a high catch one down. And now it's Mike Todd moves back at butt 67 with a 394 OPS. He only plays against righties because he's a lefty. Now, Dubon, who plays against lefties, popped up. And Matana's under it, and there's two down for your shrimp now. Yep, Twins got shut out. You no, know, it's gonna happen. Oh. Now they're 50, 39 of 53. I think the season's already over. 2 1 down. Ground ball to Montana, the only guy on the outside of the infield. Long throw, though, and it got him by a hair. Uh, middle of three, the store is still the Giants one, and the White Sox one. And here is Nick Montreal. Line drive! Right the belt on a short hop. Three us is the ground ball, one down. Now it's Matado Sindel and Stored in his first uh play to, or in his first at bat. 
Ground ball! That's past the diamond belt base hit! And now it's two for two. Run our first one out for the White Sox in the third. Ground ball! Past the diamond belt the den. Two on one out for the Sox in the bottom of the third. Good throw. Now it's Adam Ethan with two on one out. Ground ball on a tough turn. They're not even going to do it. Send it through the first. Not in time. As Crawford does the first. And everybody's. Crawford decided not to do the second. It was a tough turn. Decided it. You know, the first team did the dino in the first. As he beat out the, beat out the throws. An infield signal. And now the base are loaded with one out for your, your Mon Mercedes. Foul ball two and two to the White Sox DH. Ground ball is to be two. Mercedes only has 41 speed, and that is a four-six-three double play. Good pitch by Belt to save a run, and Mercedes grounds into the in and end in four-six-three double play with the bases loaded and one out, and the inning is over with the score still one to one after three ends of play here in game two. Now's our chance. Here's the Giants have two hits: a triple by Alondoria, and then an RBI single by Bell. Here's Posey's over one, 40th pitch down from Cease. Three two count. And that was on a fly ball for a little pop-up. I feel out short by Montreal. And a Brady wasn't covering, but Montreal runs past him and tads the, the bat himself. So it's a four on assisted ground ball. One down. Here's Brandon Crawford. Over one of the game, two for six in the series. Little jam shot down the third base line, but foul. Shift is on. Uh, it's foul. 43rd pitch down and cease. Round ball is a tough play for Anderson. 29 speed. Throw to first. Still not proper by a step and a half. Two down. And now it's Londoria who's tripled and scored in his first at bat. A little jam shot. Not really a jam shot, but a ground ball to Montreal. Low throw up hit by Abreu and the, and the end is over. 1 2 3 to the Giants. Middle of 4. The score is still 1 to 1 here at Nancy Great Field. Back here in Chicago, let's turn on the field check to Tony Watney. Well, Tony LaRusa, that's the manager. Thank you, Heidi. There's now his money to Randall, the switch in and catcher, and then it's, um, 7 8 9 do up. Then it's Vaughn, a little ground ball to uh, Belt, throw to the pitcher. Sometimes they throw it behind the pitcher, but he doesn't have one down. So it's Grandall, Vaughn, and um, Garcia. One for one with a double, with Shrimp, but with Shrimp at third base. Line drive, same spot as the first one, basically. This one would go to the wall just to the right of the first one, but Vaughn is now 2 for 2 with two doubles. That was a, both doubles to right center field. And there's a runner at Senate, one out for Louis Garcia. The rookie with two doubles here in game two. So far, a little tapper, and it's the same thing as last time. So a double by Vaughn with one out, then Garcia drowning out the belt, three ounces to the ground ball both times. Runner at third, two outs again for Anderson, lying down to end the second inning. And it's a ground ball right to belt, and he will. Throw it underhand to the pitcher, covering in and over. And again, Vaughn is straight at third base after hitting a one out double. We enter the fifth with the score still one to one. We're back here in Chicago. Let's turn on the field. We're back here in Chicago. Let's turn on the field. Let's check in with Tony Watney. And Heidi. They only have two hits, a triple by Londoria and an RBS single by this man, Brandon Bell. And that was in the, both in the top of the set and foul ball one and uh, two and two to the pitch or the Brandon Bell. Fiftieth pitch down on Cease. 
And at the ground, Ball and Bell has two out of the three hits. One uh, leadoff signal for Van and Bell here in the top of the fifth. And here's Alex Sanderson now. One on town, and that is on the outside corner, one and two. Good pitch, and he got the call from the home plate umpire. One, two down. Little jam shot, should be two. Mancata, Montreal, a brave double play. Five, four, three, double play, and there's two down. And now it's Darren Ruff would ground out the Montreal. Darren Ruff would ground out the Montreal on the set, and it's a mid pitch here. He didn't miss anything. Two, two down. Oh, ground ball to Montreal again. Throw to first, and the end's over. Halfway home here in game two. The score the Giants one, and the White Sox one. And then Montreal, go for two. Line drive, but right to you, Stremski. One down. Now it's Montana, two for two. Two signals that have scored the only run so far for the Chicago White Sox. And Montana, a little looper, and this one will not get past, will not drop or get past you, Stremski. Two down. Now it's a Bray who has two, is two for two, two signals as well. One on count. Right line drive, field off, thrown up by Savano. Throw to Bell in and over. We headed the sixth in game two, the score still one to one here in Chicago. And here's Savano, then it's uh, Todman, then the top of the order, and you Stremski. Three one hitters count. And that is a fly ball, it's hit well. That was ball four, by the way, it was low by. It's like four or five inches, but uh, but uh, would have been ball four, but he swung and uh, Savano swung and flew out to Adamitin. One down. And here's Tauntman who popped up to Montana in the third. 65th pitch down from Cease. Little jam shot. Will it stay fair? Will it be caught? It will not stay fair, and it won't be caught. As uh, I mean, the mo most pitches he's thrown in the end, I believe, was in the second where he threw in 16. And that's where they got to run the tie of the day. And here's Tauntman. That's a ground ball fair run over the bat. And they'll go all the way to the, bottom, the wall by the 330 sign. Go in the second is Mike Tauntman, and he is in there with a one-out double as he, rep as he represents the go-ahead run in the set. Here's you, Stremski. One on town. Ground ball on the left side, run over to bet the second. Throw to first by Anderson, two down. Run and Tauntman stays where he is, runner in second, two outs. Here in the top of the sixth for the Giants, and here's Buster Posey. Posey drowns one to Abreu, and the Tauntman one uh, one out double by Tauntman uh, does not does uh, is no harm done after the one out double, um, or yeah, no harm done after the one out double. Middle of the sixth, the score is still one to one. Bottom sits now. Still a 1-1 one -one game. Here's Adam Eaton. It's 2-for-2. Two 70th two. pitch number from Wood. Little jam shot. Shallow left. And it's caught over the shoulder by Brandon Crawford. One down. Who was on the team. Along with, uh, I believe, Buster Posey was the other. One of the, Buster Posey and Brandon Crawford were the only two players that are still on the team that were on the team when, the, when, they, were, uh, when they won the last World Series, which was 2014. And that, was, and that was the last time they were in the World Series. Here's Mercedes. 0-for-2. Oh, pop up! Obviously, that four six three double play. The base is loaded, and one out. A fly ball or pop up the shallow right field. Savano does bat and makes the catch. Two down. And now it's got Manny Randall. Ground ball right to Po or excuse me, Bell. Two to sit in himself, but he flipped at the wood anyways, and the inning's over. We head to the seventh with a score still one to one. Which in the back third of the game, still tying at one, not in either pen. Here's Brandon Crawford. Ground ball, or rather a hard hit line drive, perfect, perfect, in the left center field. And that's a go ahead run at first base with nobody out in seventh. Good play by, and now it is Emma Dory who tripled and scored. And they're still over him up. Uh, and remember, in game one, the White Sox, the bullpen only gave up one hit and a walk. And they're starting to warm up, uh, Evan, uh, no, uh, Cody, no, Derek Crockett in the, um, White Sox pen down the left field line. 
One on ten, Longoria. Ground ball just fell. Ground ball is to be two. Sending one. First double play. And there's two down as the doe head runs erased. One, six, three, double play. Here's Bell. Two for two with two signals. And has uh, driven the only run so far for the Giants. He has half of their hits. That's all jams out. Well, stay fair. Down the line, and it will be fouled by about a foot and a half. What a minute. Third hit. Shift is on. That's a ground ball. Ditch a shift. Montana's over. And he stops. Then he throws. Even if he jeter jump throw it, Belt might have been safe. It would have been close. But we'll never know. A third hit of the game for Belt. As he has three out of the five hits. And there's a runner at first two outs for Alan Sitterson. It's 0 for 2. Ground ball, Montana. And he'll go to second, and the end is over. Seven stretch time here at the ballpark. The score is still 1 to 1. Excuse me, that, uh, Bell has three out of their six hits. I forgot there was that single and then the double play. So Bell has three out of their six hits. That means he has half of their hits. Giants have six hits because they had a double play. Ground ball, center base. Throw to first, and, the, and there's one down as Vaughn is retired. So no double in the same spot as last time. And now it's Garcia in the top of the order. Here's Garcia. Uh, Woods getting tired. He's about to throw the 80th pitch. He's trying to warm up. Uh, Jose Alvarez in the Giants pen in right center field. One on town, 80th pitch. Popped up. Right side. In fair territory, both under a two down. White Sox got one in the bottom of the first. Giants got one in the top of the second. Nothing since. Two on town to Anderson, the top of the, and the, the leadoff man for the Sox. Ground ball, center base. And we go to the eighth inning here in game two. Still, with the score still one to one. Uh, both enter, both the energy of both pitchers are in the yellow, and here comes a new pitcher uh, for the White Sox. Derek Crochet, one appearance here in the postseason, th pitched three innings, has one strikeout. Forcing basketball slider on a uh, changeup. Here's Darren Ruff to DH. Swing and a miss, 101 on the radar gun. Brother tight end, oh, he. Forcing basketball slider on a changeup, like I said. He threw oh, he. That was 101. One, two down. And he throws it again, one on one again, but it's fouled back or fouled on the first base line by the batter. Uh, rough. A little jam shot on the changeup, blows on an 86. Throw to first by Crochet, one down. And Dylan C. sits seven inch pitch, sits hits, one run, one run, run no loss, no strands, 84 pitches thrown, but he's in line for the. But, but he would know should but he would get to know decision no matter who wins the game. Here's Savano. Savano pops it up. The long run for Ethan, and he is there. He makes a knee light catch and straight away right field two down. And now it's Tom who doubled and his last at bat was trying to send a base though. Ground ball Anderson as that was a fastball at 102. Throw to first and an over. Middle of eight, the score is still one to one here in Chicago. Montreal, Abreu, and I oh know uh, Montreal, uh, Montana, and then Abreu. Here comes Jose Alvarez, Jose Alvarez from the Giants pen. Four appearances in the postseason. Oh, 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 Roger, oh for one on saves. Obviously, it's not a safe situation. A pitch just in the third innings, 2.84 ERA, no strikeouts, and one walk. Tuesday, basketball change up. Uh, forcing him to spawn a slider. Here's Montreal. It's 0 for 3. Round ball, right side. Throw to first by uh, Belt. One down here in the eighth. And by the way, if we don't, that's your end. No, that's your end. Um, Alex was 7 inch pitch. No, uh, uh, 7 inch pitch. 8 hits. 1 run. 1 earned run. No walls. No straight outs. 8 hits pitches thrown. But he would, but he would get the no decision. But he would get the no decision no matter who wins the game. Same thing for Dylan C. Here's Montana. Line drive. That's a sh uh, soft line drive. Lands on the infield. Dirt, but it's out of the reach of Savano in the center field for a base hit. And that's a dog run at first base with one out. Third single of the day. You might see a pinch runner, maybe. It's a Brayu. 
And it looks like Billy Hamilton will pinch run for Juan Mercado at first base. As, as a, uh, Billy Hamilton, or the runner at first base, represents the go-ahead run. There goes Hamilton! From a second! And he is out! As he pinned him. What a throw! On the changeup, too! A late jump for Hamilton, and Posey nailed him. Two down. And now it's a Bray with no one. No runners on two outs. Three one hitters down ground ball. First base. And it's under and flip from belt to Alvarez in and over. We head to the ninth and game two with the score still one to one. And Jake Lamb will uh, replace uh, Billy Hamilton defensively. And as he strips is 0 for 3. Same pitcher for the Sox. And that's a pop up to the new. Uh, foul territory running over there is Lamb, who is just who just died in the ball game. He made the catch and foul ground one down. And now it's Posey who's also 0 for 3. Swing and a miss at 101. Uh, and it's a 2 2 down to Posey. Ground ball fair as he let the change up up. And that would go to the 335 sign and slam it on the brace. It's Posey. He might not be able to get back. And he cannot. As he's thrown out retreating. And someone's hurt. And it looks like Posey's hurt. Uh, Slyne and head first. Back to first. Slyne and head first. Back in the first base. Oh boy, this should be a top right literally and fitter, fitterly for Buster Posey. And that's right, will be needed. But the way he's holding his arm, this looks bad. Posey will be, be, will be need. Posey will be removed from this game and could be shelved for quite some time. What a blow for the Giants. So the runner is out at first base. But what a blow to the Giants. Unbelievable. Because he probably broke his arm, signed him at the first base. He went too far and he went to speed. So, uh, so Kurt Casta, Castellin, or I, I always bounce it wrong, but he will come in for a... Uh, Buster Posey in the bottom of the ninth, because Posey was out going at the first base, so that will be another catcher in the bottom of the ninth. But now it's a 3-2 down to uh, Crawford. Swing and a miss! Straight three on a 3-2 pitch, and it was a 14 best spot, 101. And now the White Sox have a chance to win game two by scoring one run. In the middle of nine, the score is still 1-1. One one. Now it was a single, so... Her, that, that's a new guy that comes in for Posey who probably broke his arm. And if that's the case, he's out for the rest of the postseason. Here's Ethan. Line drive. It's a long run for Talkman. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Light it to zone left center field. One down. As no one's in either pen. As Alvarez looks like he's going to pitch the ninth here and hopefully send his name to extras. Here's Mercedes. Mercedes grounds one. It's 0 for 3. Make that open. No! Or that's thrown in the. Unbelievable! He threw it over the, by the second baseman. So I uh, let's say, make that 0 for 4. It, uh, Mercedes is now 0 for 4 because it's an error. So, that's, so I was right about making it 0 for 4. But oh my goodness, Savano airmailed Bell, and Savano's a second baseman. It's not like a shortstop because he's the farthest away from first baseman, maybe the third baseman. But the second baseman, the closest is the first baseman, and he is sent. The throw air went over the head of Brandon Bell, first, the Giants' first baseman, and into the Giants' dugout, almost hitting someone in there, almost hit, Alex, almost hit Alex Wood. There's a, almost hit Alex Wood, and so it went out of play, thrown from the infield, so it's one base. Mercedes goes over to center base, he's 0 for 4, because if you reach an error, which they call that an E4, obviously, no way it's a base hit. Unless this time it was already... At first base, Bob said that wasn't the case. So it's an E4. Mercedes, like I said, is 0 for 4. So I was saying, make that 0 for 4, and they threw over the first baseman's head. So Mercedes is 0 for 4. Bob said doesn't care about that because he's at center base with one out, and he represents the winning run. So you did, it's thrown from the infield out of play. It was already at first base, so it's one base. That center base with one out. Mercedes, like I said, he's 0 for 4, but he doesn't tear. Uh, he doesn't tear if he goes 0 for 4 uh, because he. He doesn't care how he died on base. He did get on base. Anyone you can get on base. Anyone you can. And the way he died on is via error. But And it was thrown out of play, like I said. And the Giants that almost hit Alex Wood, who was a starter for this game. And it's one base because it was thrown from the infield. So now Mercedes is at 
So Mercedes is at center base with one out, representing the win and run for Yasmin Randall. Three and one hitters now, and that is in there. Three and two. And our son of up. Zat Latell on the Giants pen. The full count. Three two count. One out to the switch hitter catcher Yasmin Randall. Ground ball at the base hit. The runner's coming around, and he'll score, and the White Sox lead the series two games to none, as Mercedes comes in as the win and run, and the White Sox lead the series two games to none, as they walk off the Giants in game one, and now in game two, as they win game two, two to one, here in Chicago, as they mob Mercedes, now they mob Grandal. As that was out of the reach of Savano, who made the error that cost the Giants the game. Probably would have done it if he wasn't uh, to the normal position, but because the runner was a center base, usually they hit their glove be behind the runner along with the shortstop, or it's usually just the center base or the shortstop, or both. They do that, and that makes them out of position, and then they go back to their position as quickly as they can once the, the pitcher delivers, but sometimes they're not officially, they might be a step or two. Of, uh, to the, well, I guess if you're the center mason to the right of where you should be, and if you're the, and if you're the shortstop to the left of where you should be, and it looked, that probably would have, that cost the Giants, but also, Stefano Johnson with that error. What a game. What a game. White Sox win 2-1 here in game two, as they have walked off the Giants in game one, now in game two, and they're two wins away from winning the World Series. The series will shift to San Francisco for game three. Game four and game five if there is a game five. What a game. One run seven it's one error, which was by Savannah for the Giants. Two runs and ten it's no errors for the White Sox. Londoria one for three with a triple and scored the only uh one Londoria one for three with a triple and scored the only run for the Giants. Brandon Belt three for three with three singles and RB and an RBI and as he uh, drove in the only run for the Giants. Todd Moon 1 for 3 with a double, and Posey 1 for 4 with a single, although he was thrown out, thrown at the center base. Or no, uh, Diamond head first bat in the first base, I mean. So that, uh, that was, that's 7 hits, that's 3, 4, 5, six. that, that's just out uh, 7 hits right there, and the, that had the 7th hit was, uh, Crawford. So, Posey had a hit, Crawford had a hit, Londori had a hit, Bella had 3 hits, and Todd Moon had 1 hit. And then, um, and over here, Matata had three hits. Unfortunately, Hamilton, I mean, he had like, I think he had like 87 speed and 99 steel, but he was still thrown out. He had a bad jump. I didn't try to, I hit the button. I don't know why it was like that, but they still won. Not sure why, um, it was such a poor jump. I don't know, it was such a bad jump, and it wasn't my fault. I hit the button, and like, before the pitch, because if you do it after the pitch is thrown, it's a really bad jump. I'm not sure why it was a bad jump. I don't know. Because I literally hit the button, which is L2 and then L3, and you hit it. I hit it before the pitch, I don't know why it was such a bad jump. I don't know. But it was also a good throw by Posey, and now he's out for a long time. I don't know. Just to me, man, you see what's happening, but, um... So, yeah, um, Matata had three hits, uh, Abreu had two hits, Ethan had two hits, uh, and Randall had a hit, and Vaughn had two hits. And Mercedes throws, it went 0 for 4. Mercedes, yeah, 0 for 4, because obviously, if you reach on an error, it still counts like if first at bat, I reach on, I'm 0 for 3, like Mercedes, reach on an error, you're 0 for 4, but you're on base. So, Mercedes went 0 for, 0 for 4, uh, with a run, and you got that run because he reached on a field error by Savano, where, I mean, I don't know how you over, oh, I don't know how in the world you, oh, uh, set your, th I don't know how, set a major close to, out of the first baseman, and your throw, throw, uh, and you airmail your first baseman throw, and, or the throw at Servano opposite, air, went over the head of Brandon Bell, into the Giants that almost hit in Alex Wood, and was thrown in the infield, so Mercedes got set in, so, if you throw, yeah, if you throw it from the outfield, it's two bases, if you throw it from the infield, it's one base, and he was already at first base, so, Mercedes got set in base because the throw, the, the ball was thrown out of play from the infield, so it was one base, so Mercedes got set in. And then, and that's batter, which was a switching to Tetri, I was mind run, all hit a RBS in the right center field to win the game. Won a game. As Crocheted out the win, he moves a 1-0 in the postseason, and 
Jose Alvarez got gets the loss. He falls to 0-2 in the postseason. So Karate is 1-0 in the postseason, and Alvarez is 0-2 in the postseason. Oh no, no. Karate is 1-0 in the postseason, and Alvarez is 0-2 in the postseason. Not 0-2. 0-2. Oh, and each each team only had two uh, pitches: Cease and Crochet for the White Sox, and uh, Wood almost got killed by that Savannah throwing the the Giants dugout, and Alvarez for the Giants. Like I said, one run seven innings, one error for the Giants, which is by Savano. The error was, and then two runs in ten innings, no errors for the White Sox. I actually don't have to make menu. I want to show you uh, how long uh, Posey's out. It's up to you to find out in the next episode, but I, I want to show you here. Usually I never done do this. Like I've never done it in postseason. Vaughn's the player of the game, by the way. Ooh, he only bruised his arm. So Buster. So, by the way, uh, Vaughn uh, was, a, was a player of the game, by the way. Va uh, Andrew Vaughn was a player of the game. Uh, who, um, yeah. Andrew Vaughn was a player of the game, and Vaughn, or yeah. Andrew Vaughn was a player of the game as he went two for three with two doubles. So, yeah. Andrew Vaughn was a player of the game as he went two for three with two doubles. I mean, uh, I guess, I, I mean, two for three with two doubles, that's not bad, but maybe I would have gave it to Grandall because he, he drove in the win and run. But, I'm... I would have David the Grand. I might have rent David the Grand all, but I'm not. I'm fine with the minute Devon. But he did go two for three or two doubles. So Buster Posey sustained an injury, bruised arm. So he's not. During to, or Buster Posey sustained an injury, bruised arm during today's game, and will be out for a day or two. Okay, bruised arm. Oh, okay. I have the wrong controller. Though. Why is it? Okay, so I want to see on the Giants where the head is the Giants uh, right here. So is he still not in the lineup? It's one to six days, but at this point, he's got to play through it because I know he's not. He wasn't doing that. He's batting 207. There were 58. Uh, He's played every day. 58 at bats. No one runs one RBI. He's bad at 207, which is not good. But I don't really want to play this guy. He's, I mean, he's 32 and he's played for like a lot of teams. But Posey, nine years. This guy, four years. But Posey has been playing the entire postseason. He's played every game. He's played every game. And by the way, that new Tetra team had never got at bat because he came in the ninth inning. Never got at at bat, so there was two choices: bench player or stop him. If it was maybe like the first or second round, I probably would bench him, or not. Well, bench him because of his inju injury, but it says bruised arm right here. You can, it's blurry, but it's a bruised arm, one to six days. But there's a possibility it could be out in one three days, and one to six days here, seven days a week would be game seven if it got that far. So really, I don't have a, I don't, if Posey wants to play, which I want to play Posey, he's, he's a veteran, he knows how to do it. He's a good catcher, he's a veteran catcher. That other guy, I mean, yes, he's been in the lead for four years, before MLB service time, I'm not sure, like. Now, I mean, he's been since 2014, except for, obviously, he hasn't really played a full year. Posey has been in there for, nine years, and he was on the team when they won, since, he's been on his team the entire career since 2009, and he was on there when they won the World Series in 2010, 2012, and 2014. Now, so, he's not a play, if it was the first or second round, if it was a division series or the championship series, I would put in the backup and let Posey rest, like I did for, what, Tomano and Desfani, but, but because it's the World Series, won the six days, so, it's, let's just say it's six days, I mean, he's not bad until that's seven days, which would be a week. A week from now in the stand will be game seven if it got that far. But because it's a World Series and they're down 2-0, even if they were, they were up 2-0, even if they were up 2-0, I'm still going to play him because if he, if I sit him because of the injury, it's not that bad. He didn't play it through a bruised arm. And if it was something like a broken arm, obviously, they, they said he was on probably only out for, what, one to two months and he would be put on the 60-day IL. But because it's a bruised arm, which is one of six days, he just has to play through it if he wants to play. Because if he doesn't, if he, if I do, say, bench him because of his injury, 
and say it's, like I said, six days. That means you won't be back in those in those seven days from now in this game, which will be a week. That will be a week from now in this game is game seven. So if he does it to World Series, I'm not. He's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna play him. I mean, it's not, they gave me an option. If it was a broken arm or something, where I have to put him on the even broken arm, like where I have to put him on the IL because he's gonna be out for one to two months or a certain period of time, then obviously I won't have a, no, I don't have a choice. But here I do, so I'm not playing because if he doesn't play, most likely he's not gonna play a den in, in the World Series. But if I play him, obviously he's gonna play a den. But if I bench him because of his injury, he's probably not gonna play a den in the series. Or if I bench him because of his injury, I'm, he's probably not gonna play a den in the World Series. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna play him because of Damian op, uh, option. Because of the World Series, I'm not gonna play him. So yeah, game three will be the next episode, and I'll most likely go up uh, Tuesday. This video should be done up on Sunday. It, uh, it has to. It, uh, like, not. It has to. This video will be done up on Sunday, June. Uh, this video will be done up on um, Sunday, July 18th, and the next episode of the series will be game three of this World Series, and it'll be going up on Tuesday, July 20th. And I'll do the closing on uh, the next clip. So like I said, this video is probably going to be going up. Uh, this video will be going up uh, July, or this video will be going up on Sunday, July 18th. Next video, uh, next episode of the series will be uh, 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 Game Three of the World Series, and it will go up uh, Tuesday, July 20th. And the next video on this channel could be the next episode of the series. It might, not, it might be, it might not be. I'm not exactly sure. Depends if I have time to film and if I want to film. So yeah, I probably want, I, if I do have time to film, I'm most likely done to film. So it's a uh, Lance Lynn is 2-0 and with the no ER. No. In game 3, it's Lance Lynn for the White Sox. Anthony Despani for the uh, Giants. Lance Lynn he has a 2-0 and record with a 0 ERA. And Despani has only pitched one game, and he only pitched an in and two-thirds because obviously he broke his cheat. And, and I said, the Brendan Logan Webb, and he was out one to two weeks. And I actually took him out. Same thing for Savano, but he didn't, I don't think he missed any day. I think he missed one day. Yeah, he met, he got hurt in game four of the NLCS with a abdominal strain. He was out the one to six, one to six days, so he missed game five. That's the only thing he missed because there was a because they didn't play a game for um they didn't play a game for uh one two three four well they had four days off, so they didn't play a game they didn't play a game in five days, so that's why he only missed game five of the NLCS against the Cubs, which they won. Um, which they won a 3-2, the Dota of the World Series. Now they're down two up names and none. But, who knows? I mean, the Astros were like that in 2019. They were down 2-0. When they, they were, actually, they were, the Astros were down 2-0 after losing game 1 and 2 at home. And then they won game 3, 4, and 5 in D.C. and then lost game 6 and 7 at home. So, in 2019 World Series, the road team won every game. So, never know. If you're the Giants, really, the Stay alive and send the game back to Chicago for at least game six. They have to win two out of three. Uh, they have to win two out of the next three games, which game three, game four, and if there's a game, game three, game four, and game five, if there's a game five, will be um, in San Francisco. Okay, San Francisco snowboard. If you're subscribed to the live button, subscribe. If you're entire mom, dad, grandpa, aunts, uncles, pets, and friends about these videos, you know I'm gonna see you in episode number 11 of the Snowboard Show 21 postseason series. Soon up so number 11, and he don't, and he don't out of bait in and no white thoughts.